Hi guys, I'm Angelo from Surface to Air Sports and this morning I'm in sunny sandbanks and we're going to go through the new eagerly anticipated Core XR Pro Kite for 2024. I'm going to run you through every single feature of this kite so you know exactly what it does and doesn't do. I mean, everyone has been asking me for this kite. Everyone's asking for a review, so let's get it done. Cool kiteboarding, who are they, where are they from, why are so many people talking about this brand? Okay, so this is a German brand. Uh, all the engineering's done in Germany, so you know that it's as good as it pretty much gets. Core have been producing amazing kites for a good number of years now. XR4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now the Pro, they got the Nexus kite, they got the GTS. There's so many kites that they've produced that are absolutely game changers. So you can imagine why everyone's been waiting so long to see this kite. So basically, with Core being in the market for so long, for surface to air sports, they are definitely 100% the best kiteboarding brand on the market right now. And the price doesn't denote that. They're no more expensive than every other brand on the market. A lot of people talk about Core and they go, oh, yeah, you know, the kite's really good, but they're really expensive. That is not the case. They are in line with every other brand on the market. Okay, so let's start off with who the kite's for. I don't want to waste your time watching a video when the kite doesn't suit your riding style or your skill level. So let's get straight down to that. So the XR Pro is really prominently designed as a competition kite. However, a very, very small percentage of kite surfers actually end competitions. So let's just scrap that and take that out of the equation, really. So let's work on the fact that it's a boosting kite. So it loves big air. It loves kite looping. It's super powerful. So clearly it's not aimed at that beginner. So if you're looking for your first kite surf kite, this is not for you. Stop watching the video and I can point you in a different direction. That's not an issue at all. If you're an intermediate rider and you're really pushing the envelope and you want to get higher jumps on any of your stats like your woo, etc., and things like that, or you're doing some kite loops and you want to enhance on them, you want to go bigger, you want to go faster, you want to go higher, then this is for you. Because this is a boosting, jumping, kite looping machine. Okay, so first things first, let's deal with the elephant in the room. Alula, yes, the XR Pro has the Alula airframe. What is Alula? A lot of people talk about Alula, it's a new material that we're putting on the kite surf kites. It's not just new, it's exceptionally better. There's been loads of materials tried and tested with kite surfing, and unfortunately, a lot of them haven't really worked. Alula has been around now for a good couple of years, and it's really worked out for kite surfing. So what does Alula do? What does an airframe do for kite surfing? Okay, so an Alula airframe does the following things. It's lighter, okay? Well, obviously, the kite's gotta fly. That's gotta be a bonus. It's stronger, okay? The amount of pressure we put these kites into, whether we're going out in super strong winds or crashing, super important. It's faster, so it's got less wind resistance. We can have the diameter of the lead and edge, like on the Pro, is a lot smaller, which in turn means it has less drag, which means the kite travels faster in the sky, okay? And it's more responsive because it's stiffer. You've got a lot less twist in the kite. So as you're riding, little inputs down at the bar mean massive inputs up at the kite now, and it's instant response. Not like before where you get this really spongy feel on a lot of high performance kites about Alula. The difference is phenomenal. The response is pretty much like an accelerator in a hypercar. As soon as you touch that throttle, you get an instant reaction. And that's what's happening with the Pro from Core. It makes a massive, massive difference. Yes, it's a high price added to the kite. We get that, we understand that totally. But you really are paying for what you get. This kite has a bigger wind range than ever before, okay? It's faster, it goes higher, it does everything better. We at Surface to Air describe this as an XR8 on steroids. Canopy material. Let's not get confused. The amount of kite surfers that come into me and they look at it and they go, that's not a Lula. I'm like, 
It is, it's an Alula airframe. The canopy is not Alula. Let's make that really, really clear. The amount of people that think the whole kite is made of Alula, that's incorrect, that is not the case. So the airframes, that's the lead edge and the struts is Alula. The canopy is Cortex 2. This is Core's unique material and it's coated with a special coating for UV protection and added strength. This is the strongest canopy material on the market zero stretch so the idea is when you're flying the kite as the kite tends to get older unfortunately kites tend to stretch and you tends to lose power they get little very very small micro holes in them and they lose lift well with a cortex canopy yes that may still happen over time but it's got a lot longer to live before that does start happening before you start to lose performance out of your kite so cortex 2 the ultimate in canopy material. I get this question all the time. Everyone coming into the store and saying to me, hi Angelo, isn't that an XR8 with a Lula? No, that is not an XR8 with a Lula. This is a different kite. This is designed from the ground up but does, yes, take a lot of characteristics from the XR8, but it is a different kite, okay? So let's be clear on that. Two of the major differences between the XR8 and the Pro are as follows. You've got the leading edge, okay? The leading edge diameter on the Pro is a lot thinner than what it is on the XR8. And the reason for this is because Alula is a lot stronger and stiffer they can still keep that strength in the kite by reducing the diameter. Now the bonuses of reducing the diameter of a leading edge is forward flying speed. So basically it makes the kite more stable and flies a lot faster. If the kite flies faster, you're gonna get a lot more whip when you come back and you wanna do that big air jump or the big kite loop, okay? That makes a massive, massive difference. So the leading edge diameter is thinner, okay? So that makes a massive difference. The second thing is the profile. The profile of the kite, the XR8 is a full arc. The Pro has a flat spot in the middle. And basically what that flat spot does is offer a lot more lift and a lot more power. And again, that can't be done without a Lula airframe. You need an Alula airframe that's stronger, stiffer, to be able to do that, to keep the kite as stable as it needs to be at the same time. So there are two major differences between the XR8 and the Pro Kite. Okay, we talked about the Pro, we've talked about what it's good for, boosting, kite looping. Can you fine tune your kite loops? You want a wider loop? You want a narrower loop? Okay, let's see exactly what we can do. So we've got some settings on the Pro that enables you to do that. So you can really fine tune that loop, okay? So basically, right here, we've got settings, effectively A, B, and C. So at the top here, this setting is a tight loop. So this will give you a real tight loop, okay? And then obviously you've got your all round riding, which is probably what you know. That's how we fly kites currently. And then the bottom, this is where it gets interesting. This one here is a wide loop, okay? This will give you a massive arc in the loop. So if you're looking to do a kite loop, which is absolutely huge with a massive wide arc, you would put it on that setting. And it's not just that set, those settings that are available. Obviously you have others as well. So if you go to the wingtip, for example, here, you've got the usual settings, which are basically make it bar pressure. So you can make it easy or really light. So basically if you want more input from the kite, you want to feel a little bit more bar pressure, you can change that. That's a common thing in most kites. That's nothing new from core. Most kites will have that setting, but the reason for showing you on the video is quite simply, I don't want you to think that it's not there because it is. So you've got all your usual settings, but the idea that you can really fine tune that loop is even better. So if you're into kite loops, you can't go wrong. Relaunch, 
we've got to talk about it. It's a video, it's doing a review. Obviously, most kites we launch super easy these days. The Pro is no different whatsoever. It's effortless. With its light airframe, it's low contact on the water. It's super easy to relaunch, as you would expect. Inflation and deflation is important. Like most kites, you want to do it fast as possible. I mean, the pumps are getting bigger. It makes perfect sense to make the import valve and the export valve bigger so that in turn we can pump up our kite quicker and get out on the water fast. Maximum airflow, speed valve, so super, super fast, right in the center of the kite, so it's super easy to pack away as well. Um, you can't really get much quicker than this. You can make that valve a little bit wider, but all you'll do is add a weak point. So what they've done is they've done with their speed valve that they've got in the XR8, no different whatsoever. Super easy, super fast to get you ready, set up and out on the water. You want more lift from the Pro? You got it. You got 10% more lift from this kite. And the reason being is it has an intelligent arc. Now basically what that does is, if you can imagine that is the kite, as I pull in on the bar, the angle will change and create 10% more lift. So basically what happens is the kite actually opens up, creating more span, which in turn creates more lift, more power. So as you sheet in and out, the actual kite itself is changing shape, okay? So we're basically, we're flying like this, it's not a problem at all, it's normal, and then we want some extra lift, we sheet in on the bar, and that will open up the wingtips, creating 10% more projected area, creating 10% more lift out of the kite. As you sheet back out again to depower, the wingtips will pull back in, and then you'll lose that 10%. So in turn, that will give you two things. It will give you more lift, more power, but also more depower, and in turn, that gives you more wind range. Okay, let's talk about build quality. We know Alula's super strong compared to a normal Dacron, okay? However, it still needs patches on certain areas to really reinforce it. And Core have not penny pinched when it comes to this. So these Grintex patches, basically what they are, they're almost like um, grip tape from a skateboard. They're almost like that. They're super hard wearing and it really enforces, one, the attachment and the area, because that is an abrasion area. So as soon as you put your kite down, that's the part that's gonna be rubbing. Whether you're on a sandy beach like this, you're on tarmac, you're on stones, that's gonna stand the test of time and be super strong and protect your Alula airframe. Okay, so let's talk about bars, okay? It's super important that you buy the same manufacturer bar to fly with this kite. This is a super expensive kite, a super high performance orientated kite. What you don't wanna be doing is buying a different brand manufacturer bar because they're not R&D together. The bars are really, really important to getting the best out of the kite. With that in mind, just so you know, all of the core Sensor 2 bars work with this kite and the Sensor 3 bars. Here at S2AS, we really recommend you buy the Pro S3 bar, okay? So that's the higher end bar that they do with this kite because it's carbon, it's more responsive, it's got the better lines. All of those things add to what this kite is delivering. So that's really important. The other thing I wanna talk about is spares and accessories. Core have a program like no other brand on the market. They guarantee six years in stock worth of spares of all of their kites. So once this Pro kite is within six years old, you can always get the spares and accessories for it. Guaranteed by Core. Nobody else does that. Let's talk about the kite bag. So the amount of people that have said to me, oh, the bag's really cheap, Angelo, the bag's really cheap. It's not cheap. It's lightweight, just like the kite. The kind of person that buys these pros, okay, they travel a lot. They want to be going to far distances with a couple of these kites, a couple of boards, some bars, et cetera, et cetera. They need to keep their luggage as light as possible for the airlines. So Core thought about that, and basically they made the bag super lightweight as well. So each and every one of these kites that you throw in your travel bag 
is going to be lighter, not just because of the Ulula airframe, but also because of the bag itself. Every single kilo helps when traveling, believe me. Okay, let's talk about sizes, shall we? Sizes, what sizes does the Pro come in? Okay, so it comes in a range of sizes. It comes in a six meter, a seven meter, an eight meter, a nine meter, a 10 meter, and a 12 meter, okay? You'll notice the 11 is missing and the bigger sizes are missing. There is a reason. This kite is a high performance orientated kite. It is not a light wind kite. So those bigger sizes, the 13 and a half, the 15s, the 17s, they will not be made in the Pro, okay? So just bear that in mind. With regards to the other sizes, maybe not making an 11, I kind of get that, but I think the most important sizes that people are gonna be buying in this kite are really the eights, nines, and tens. We've sold a few 12s as well, but I think the eight, nines, and, uh, eight, nines, and tens are gonna be the sweet spot for the Pro. I'm gonna get asked, so I'm gonna hit you with it. Colors, cool kites, normally you can choose a white version or a black version. They're 50-50 and they're just inverted normally, okay? The Pro, you do not have that option. This is it, black, black and yellow. That's as good as it gets. You do not have the option to buy this kite in white, okay? So when you buy the Pro, just bear in mind if you order online or through our shop or anything like that, this is what you're gonna receive, black. Okay, so just a quick summary of the XR Pro 2024. Alula airframe, tighter, faster, less twist, and super big at boosting. That's the key characteristics that it's gonna have. The strength, everyone knows Alula's super strong. So just take that into consideration. Flatter profile, 10% more lift, okay? CTI, more adjustments. You can widen that kite loop if you dare. And believe me, it's really worth messing around with it. The difference it makes is phenomenal, but be prepared. You will get a very, very different feeling at the apex of the loop. The kite catches you super early because it turns faster, which in turn makes it easier to land and ride away. The features of the XR Pro really are mind-blowing compared to what you get with the standard XR8 kite. Guys, thanks for watching. The weather's closing in. The wind's gonna pick up. We're gonna get out and have a session on this. So I've been Angelo from Surface to Air Sports. I really appreciate you watching the video and I hope it's helped you out. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. The more of you to do that, the more of these videos we're gonna do. We need the response from you. If you've got any questions, add them below. We do monitor them and I will answer them. We have a store in Pool, a physical store, and we're also online at s2as.com. So please check us out. Any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching, I'm going to ride.